Um, I think it was uh, 47 years ago. So the Hollywood Foreign Press gave me a promising a nomination for the Ho a promising newcomer. So Jacqueline Bissett won a Golden Globe last night, but really, who cares about the award she won? Did you guys see the acceptance speech? What's up you guys? I'm Landon Dallasing. And I'm Leroy, and you guys are watching I.O. Whoa! That was a rough start, but that's exactly what happened last night. Definitely the most cringeworthy acceptance speech of the night, Jacqueline Bissett. She won an award for the best supporting actress in a TV show. And like, I don't know if she was drunk or if that was just nerves last night, because it seemed like everybody was nervous. Then again, it seemed like everybody was drunk. They were definitely serving way too many cocktails last night, because come on, she had to have been drunk. Yeah, a little too much. <laughs> So she came on stage to accept the award and she was stumbling all over the place. And you know how the music comes on at the end of your speech to, you know, hurry you up and you're supposed to be done within the next few seconds? She totally ignored it and just continued talking. It was probably one of the longest speeches that I've heard of. Another funny moment of the night was definitely when Amy Poehler was acting like a uh, dude and uh, Tina Fey was supposed to be her mother that she had with some dude out in the world. So the Amy Poehler is going around, are you my father? And she went up to Idris Elba, the black dude. <laughs> is he my dad? <laughs> I was cracking up, definitely. Good job, ladies. When Leonardo DiCaprio, the guy who never ages, when he was on stage, he mispronounced Philomena. Instead, he said Philomania. And then as soon as that happened, it was the most trending thing on Twitter last night. Since we're talking about Leonardo DiCaprio, he won an award for the best actor in a motion picture. And that was for a musical or a comedy. When he was doing his acceptance speech, he was going on for such a long time, but they didn't even start playing the music until he was actually wrapping up. And I'm not sure if anybody else noticed, but when Michael Douglas was giving his acceptance speech, he was going on for such a long time and normally when somebody is like going on like not even for too long the music will start playing to hurry them up but it just shows how much respect the Hollywood foreign press has for this actor because he was going on for such a long time and then when he was actually wrapping up the speech then they started playing the music. Let me talk about another war that happened last night. Andy Samberg won. This guy beat out the Big Bang Theory. But my question is who the heck is this guy? You can't just beat out the Big Bang Theory. And then the show that he's in, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, went on to win for the best comedy. So all in all it was definitely a pretty fun night. It wasn't as boring as I thought it would have been. No, Leroy, right. are, are you my father? You know what? I don't know. Huh.